Kefir was founded in Volgograd as a traditional startup. A small apartment and several guys that had a great passion for making games. Today we have a big team, more than 150 people, and they are really enthusiastic about what they do. Last Day on Earth, it's our most famous game. It's a zombie survival game. We took the best from big survival games and added a lot of features that hadn't been in mobile games before. And thanks to the reach of the Google Play platform, we were able to achieve global success. Now the game has 80 million installs and has reached 47 million dollars on Android. We have a lot of communities around the world. The top countries are US, Brazil, Korea, and Russia. We intentionally made the game universal for all the players. We use a universal language for telling our story. No one can really tell where action takes place. We also use common tools that every player can recognize. For example, every player can tell that stone hatchet is for chopping trees. Though the game is globally appealing, we always try to engage our players, and that's why we have dedicated community managers and tech support that work with different languages. We also work with a lot of YouTubers from different countries, making content in various languages. Our marketing team is using various approaches in user acquisition, in pricing in different countries, we do a lot of testing in the Game Store page. It helps us boost our conversion ratio. But our main focus from the start of the game was increasing engagement, retention and revenue. One of the first updates was customization screen. So the game starts with creation of your character. And when we added it, it boosted the retention ratio of 6%. We introduced dogs which can accompany you in your travels. That update boosted a revenue. We started using Android Vitals to take a look on app performance, battery consumption ratio. There was a bug and we couldn't track it down for a long time. But using Android Vitals, we managed to find it. We felt the mobile lacks some good quality survival games, so we weren't totally surprised, but we didn't expect such success. I'm very proud that Kefir is globally successful. It's not enough to be a specialist in your field. You have to love games with all your heart.